Welcome back to Yellow Hammer. I'm Connor, and today we're back with the car again. And we're going to be attempting to model and make a winglet that will probably go up to about right here, come down, and it'll have a backing plate, and it'll have a mount and a plate un up underneath to put together. I did plan on going ahead and 3D printing it in, in the entirety of it, but due to not having a big enough build plate, I went ahead and bought HDPE, and that'll be very good for holding up to UV, uh, heat, pretty hard to break and I'm going to cut that after I get everything modeled to how I want to look on here that way I have a prototype to have a template for and then after that I'm going to cut that to however I figure out I want and it'll be put together by three and I'll have to buy whatever I end up picking to put all three of them together but I want to integrate the fender liner bolt here here and here and then I think I have three on the bottom yep one two and three and if I'm thinking right with my mechanical and kind of drafting mind I think that will hold up fine but yeah again I didn't want to print everything then have to glue one part together and then have a whole lot that might end up breaking over time and all the wind that will be traveling up like that but I'm going to go ahead and go in get everything modeled and I'll bring you back after I get everything printed off <laughs> everything modeled and printed off it did take quite a bit of time I did have to edit a little bit here and there 
I didn't have everything quite perfect. Um, you never really do. Well, if you're me, you don't. If you're better than me, then you probably don't have any problem at all. But right here will be the plate. I will go right there, and I've already had that on and bolted it up and everything, and it felt relatively firm. Uh, nothing really bent or tried to move on me. And then right here will be like that. And it'll go a little bit above the marker light here. I'll try to line it up on the bolt here. That way you can get a better idea. But it'll be about like that. And it'll go a little bit above the marker light right there. And that'll be that for the fender liner part. And after that, we've got our winglet. We'll go look about like that, but in black. And we'll be about that far out, give or take, if you can kind of put that in your head. Um, yeah. Looking pretty good. I'll probably cut it a little bit wider by a hair, maybe. I kind of like the way that looked, though. I'll probably let the bottom come out a little bit further. But for getting a rough idea of what I wanted to do, we're at that point. Um, but yeah. And after that... I haven't made the under part yet that will go underneath here, but I'll probably hold one of them up to the bottom and kind of figure out how far I want to go out on either one. I'm thinking, thinking I kind of want to mimic that line right there, maybe about right here. I don't know. I don't know how big I want to make that though. I'd have to go ahead and let it mount onto that bolt too, but. I'll get that figured out, no big deal. But I'm getting ready to work on getting that cut up and molded to how I need to be, and I'll bring you back for the cutting. All right, have been taking a break for a minute, tuning into a live with WTF. I'll have him on here, or in the have a link for you for him. Real cool guy. Got a V8 350. Pretty cool car, but anyway, moving on here now, I've got a rough template of what I need to cut out, and I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Went ahead and called an audible in the playbook and took my whatever you want to call it here off. That way I can really mock up everything. Um, with the angle here, I wanted to kind of drop that down and recreate it here. Uh, clearly, it wouldn't be completed yet. I've got to do a little bit of work to it after I get everything mocked up. But you can tell we're getting there. Um, I didn't quite plane that right. I may have to recut that. I don't. I don't know yet what I want to do. Either way, uh, I did make a boo boo and cut the what would go right here out of the three mil. But no big deal. I did go ahead and order quite a bit of material. That way, if I did make a boo boo and I knew I would. We're covered, no big deal, I've got plenty left, but I wanted to bring y'all back and kind of give you an idea. I'm going to go ahead and cut that here out of the, I think, five and a half mil or whatever it had been. But yeah, I've got to do a little bit more cutting here. I kind of did a 
rough cut until I, I knew how wide I wanted to come out that way and uh, yeah we are getting there though I'm very happy I'm gonna go ahead and get that cut out now in the thicker and then after that I will go ahead and bolt it up to the back part here and I'll let y'all know how to look all right now that we've got the thicker that I can drill into cut out now to go right here I'm gonna go ahead and get that in here and I will get a hole or two put in it and after that I'll give you a look around we might go ahead and trim up the end right here I don't know yet um, the only thing that I'm really gonna need right now where I have the bottom mounted into one two three four there I'm going to have to get the right bolt for that but other than that we're pretty good to go on hardware um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and drill a little bit into that, and I'll bring y'all back for that. Alright, got the back bolted on here with two, and now I'm going to try to put that on here. I'm going to get two underneath, probably about right there and right there, and then we will try to, or I might do the back to begin off with, that way I can kind of get my angle that will need to be fit into right. Again. Plenty of cleanup work to be had, but yeah, looking pretty good. Everything in there firm, bolted very well, all the way up and down. Good clean line. The uh, little bit of light gap will probably be taken care of here after I get the thread and everything cleaned out after I have to take it apart again, but that and getting everything cleaned up a lot better than what I have it now definitely need a little bit of cleanup work here but yeah all right now that I've got everything together and mocked up prototyped I'm going to work on cleaning everything up rounding off everything that I don't want to be at a bad angle cleaning everything up and then after that we will go ahead and mount them up and we'll be good to go after that all right gotten everything relatively good by hand now well not even relatively good I took my time and really like tried to copy every individual thing back to back I right air winglet part there anyway and right here maybe uh, either, either way I got air if I could hold it good enough got air fender liner part here looking pretty good and then got both of the lower bumper part here that will mount up got them pretty well good pretty happy with that um, oh I need to get that right there, that little bit of gap right here and then I think will be good, but yeah, other than that, I'll probably leave that alone, that way I don't have any problem with anything, but I'm going to hang that cleaned up here, and after that we will be putting everything back on the car, bolting it together, and yeah, we're getting there. Um, I did go ahead and fit everything up here before... I went to kind of rounding everything off. Everything fit up pretty good. Again, I do have to get longer, uh, a longer bolt here to go from there to the bottom part of the bumper. But after we get that, the only thing I'll have to do will be to drill every one of them and to make it identical. And we'll be good to go after that. And we are back got both of them put together made ready to go only thing I have to do now had to go by and pick up longer bolt for hardware for the front um, the one I had before I think them right here will probably work but I'm going to go ahead take the four out over here underneath about there 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 and there and we'll try that bolt and if it don't work then 
we'll go on to the other one and back with an update now got the right fully up held up by on weight got the forward underneath here holding it up oh, I did have a minor problem with the bolt about right there in front of my pointer finger uh, I had to well I've got them all drilled up now but they were really really tight uh, drilled to begin off with and I had to make the hole bigger uh, no problem with the nut being in there uh, for diameter not going all the way through uh, when tightening it down or anything one thing I did want to do here I did go ahead and glue a let me get you up in here little bumper right there with my finger uh, that way it don't rub the hell out of the paint whenever I'll get that bolt right here tightened down but yeah overall pretty happy with that we're getting there I've only got to take the four out of over there now and then get it mounted up like I do over here and we'll be on to the final reveal And that'll be the final look. Very different front end look. Definitely complimented a little bit wider wheel. Um, until the end here will about line up perfectly with the wheel when aligned. But yeah, man, I am really happy with him. Um, I've done quite a bit of driving with them already. No problem, held up fine. Again, they are very firm on here. They'll, they'll move the whole bumper before they fall off, I think. But, uh, yeah. Got the four underneath, holding it on. And on the back here, toward the fender liner. We've got the three here. We've got everything bolted in firmly. I don't think that I'll have any problem down the line. Um, the only thing that I could really think that would happen with him would be if I were to hit a bump or if the front end were to dive enough to let that drag the ground. But even then, I don't think it would break off. I think the bolt head might rub a little bit but if that were to happen I have more and I can put a uh, protector underneath there and that won't be any problem at all
drive now I did briefly look over the GoPro video it did look like it did create a little bit uh, kind of going off the wheel gap and everything uh, nothing nothing overkill by any mean but uh, definitely more than it did have and for the flow I think everything looked all right for that I probably do have a little bit of air going underneath the factory one right here uh, due to the fact that it don't really fit up the way they have it uh, kind of chamfered uh, about right there a little bit from my finger underneath but uh, overall I would call that a win in the look department <laughs> I have nothing more but yeah I mean I don't know let me, let me know what y'all think I'm definitely no uh, aero engineer or anything like that but trial run of uh, kind of my own homemade idea DIY and everything uh, I think it looked all right uh, no problem no problem at all with rubbing at full turn either way definitely what I wanted give you a final look around here before I end the video let me know what y'all think if you liked it or not if y'all liked it let me know drop a comment drop a like follow me on here it would help me out a lot and until another video thank y'all for coming by